Virgo, hello, welcome to your June 2024 monthly reading. Virgo, this is a general reading and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. Feel free to check your other sign placements to see if there's any more clarity or guidance or information in those readings for you. I thank you for being here. I appreciate you. If you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Um, I appreciate all your energies, your likes, share, subscribes, all of the things you do. Look at this. We've got four cups, bottom of the deck. Judgment, five of swords, hermit, four of cups, animal allies as your focus card. When I see the animal allies card, I think of if you've been thinking of becoming like a vegetarian or a vegan or something like that, now may be the time. Maybe you are learning more about how everything is done. Maybe you're looking for more sus sustainability in on the planet, you know, um, plant-based food, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I also think of a animal allies as maybe getting um, a new pet or a new companion for yourself. Uh, you could be getting, I mean, anything, a, a rabbit or a goat or a spider or a snake or, you know, a horse or a dog or cat, something like that. Maybe you're getting closer to animals that way. Maybe you're volunteering. Maybe you're giving time to like a zoo or a local um, shelter or something like that. Animal allies. Interesting. You'll have to let me know what that means to you when you see that card. You know, living living in one or with living together. <laughs> we have judgment, the five of swords, the hermit. All right. First and foremost, I feel Virgo, you've gone through something. You've gone through something. I feel like you've gone through something in the past. You've come out, you've made your amends, you made your I'm sorry, forgive me, all the things. You made your atonement, you made your confessions or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the slate's clean, getting ready to start again or starting again or starting fresh, starting new with the judgment card. Feeling very empowered. But then it's like somebody keeps sabotaging your feelings. Somebody keeps sabotaging you. It's almost like they keep changing the game. They keep changing the narrative. Somebody trying to always have the upper hand with you or somebody trying to boss you or bully you or make you do something you don't want to do. It's almost like, I don't know if they're the same person, but it's almost like you thought you had a situation resolved and then it's still there. But I feel like you see what they're capable of now. And I think that in turn is going to make you go in, inward, go within yourself. You know, anytime a card shows up, that I'm reading on Virgo, this is your card. You are the hermit in the tarot. Anytime that shows up, it's just very meaningful to me that this is a, very much a message you need to hear. I feel like you're going inward and finding out what's the next, next best course of action, what's the next right thing to do. You wanna follow your dreams, you wanna follow your hopes. It's almost like I feel you had a lot riding on this or Whatever the situation was, wasn't what it is turning out to be. I feel like the card should go like this. If there's another Five of Swords, it should be here. This is the energy you came out of. Some disbelief, some, some not, you know, trust or lack of trust or bullying or pick, someone picking on you. And then... All's forgiven, you make amends, and then here it is again. Could be a different situation, kind of going into that same energy. So it's like you're almost taking a back 
you, you're taking yourself back a little bit, finding out why this energy keeps reoccurring so you can set it right, so you can change that course. You want to follow your dreams. You want to follow your wishes. You want to follow your, your passion and desire. And you want to take what you learn and shine the light so others won't make that mistake or you won't make that same mistake again. You can have something to remember that from. Nine is an end of a cycle, right? I just feel with this, this energy here, something has to change. Something has to change in order for it to go forward. Um, if it's in a relationship, you might be taking a break. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups. I see this as subconscious energy. You could be bored in the relationship you're at. These are cups. These are feelings and emotions. It can be a friendship. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. But I'm almost feeling like this is a love relationship. You could be bored with it. It's like, I feel like you're looking everywhere but where you need to look. Like this is your relationship and you're looking elsewhere. Be talking to somebody else. To be having feelings for somebody else. Or this is the relationship and you're so focused on it, you don't see what's going on around you. It could be boredom. It could be um, wanting something different. Four is a number of stability and structure. Maybe you're wanting stability and structure. Maybe you're wanting to take the next step. Maybe, you know, move in or buy a house or get married. You know, maybe there, there's something there with that. Maybe partners dragging their feet or partners making promises they don't keep or something like that. Again, yeah, Animal Allies to me talks about health. So be careful with your health or check in with your health. See how you're doing. All right, your health, as, as we say health, we'll look at your health card for Virgo, Virgo's health. Virgo's health. Career. Finances. Virgo's finances. And love. Oh, I'm not taking that whole stack. <laughs> Half the deck just went, let's talk. <laughs> love. All right. Your health, Virgo. Inheritance and male. Old man. Hmm. First thing that comes to my mind is... And it's not inheritance. It's um, what's the word I'm looking for? Hereditary. <clears throat> it could be something in your family, male, female, whoever's watching this, I don't know, or, or gender neutral. But it's on the male side of the family. There could be some type of hereditary something that you could be concerned about having or having. Um, something could be being passed down. Maybe you're getting tested to see if you carry something. It could be grandfather, father. It could go on lineage like that. An inheritance I see as, have you inherited this? Are you getting this? But I see this as whatever it is that they could have. I don't know what this person's doing. I don't know. So pay attention to that. If there's something that runs in the family, um, like heart disease, get your heart checked out. If there's something that runs in the family, like certain cancers, get a colonoscopy, breast exam, whatever it is you need to do, go ahead and do it. Okay? Career, whale, wisdom keeper, 
How interesting. I feel your career is valuable to you. I feel you're very valu valuable to your career, to your company. I feel that uh, whatever it is you do, it's almost like you're one of a kind or you're very um, eclectic. I mean, there's not very many of people like you that do what you do, is what I feel with the Wisdom Keeper. Um, I feel you're invaluable to this company or to the people you work for. Finance, Dove, you have peace and serenity. So I feel your finances are very good. I feel that, you know, you are very confident where they're at and you feel safe and secure with your money. Maybe you are safe and secure with how much you're making, et cetera, et cetera, but you, you're feeling very comfortable there, very peaceful. Um, Yeah, I'm not really picking up anything else on that. Just very much, um, you're not worried about your finances, I feel. Or there's nothing to worry about maybe with your finances. Your love. <laughs> Magic and curse. Which. Okay. Hmm. If you're in a relationship, I feel like we just talked about it. And that's kind of where I feel like there's moon energy here. We have a new moon on June the 6th in Gemini. We have a full moon on the 21st of June in Capricorn. Now the full moon, or I'm sorry, the new moon is for you to plant ideas and thoughts. And you don't have to figure out how it's going to come to be. Just start planning your ideas. Start planning your thoughts. It could be what you're thinking about here being this hermit energy. New moon, new ideas. The full moon is success is not, you know, don't take no for an answer in what you want. Whatever it is you want, don't take no for an answer. It... Um, this full moon helps to tackle obstacles that could come up in your path. And it also helps you get to the finish line, whatever the finish line is, that look, whatever a finish line looks like for you. You're in a relationship. And it's not going well. You could feel cursed. You could feel what's going on. Especially coming out of this energy here. And I feel like this card also could be telling you to see the magic of everything. See the magic of how you came together. Um, along with the hermit energy, is this your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, or are you, are you letting other people influence you? If somebody doesn't like somebody in the family, they could be influencing you. See what I'm saying? You could do better. They're this, they're that. If you're not in a relationship, magic. Maybe the relationship you want, you feel doesn't exist. The relationship you want, maybe you feel is never going to happen. Maybe you're putting it out there. See, that is almost a staff, like a musical staff there be something to do with music um i also feel with this is don't blame it on other people you take the blame for yourself you're in charge of your own actions right good or bad you want a relationship you're one out of a relationship all right let's pull an animal card for you guys Wrap up this reading for our Virgos. What does Virgo need to know? More shuffle, it says. Virgo need to know. Finish this reading up, please. 
Oh, way too many. <laughs> Those we're gonna need to know. There we go. I'll take that one. Coyote Spirit, number 16. Trust in divine detours. Hmm. Trust in divine detours. Interesting. Okay. Do you find that you are being led on a strange detour in your life right now? Does it seem, uh, you know, especially with that hermit card, right? Quiet time. Does it seem that what appears to be the next right action and the right choice, best situation, or fabulous relationship unexpectedly turns into the opposite? Five of Swords. Or just disappears into thin air as if you've been tricked? Coyote Spirit's trickster energy is designed to bring you into a situation to teach you lessons that you have forgive, forgotten to learn. Perhaps you need a taste of failure before you experience success, a need to feel disappointment before you can truly appreciate joy, love, and prosperity that is coming up for you. Perhaps you, have, you are revisiting a pattern you forgot wasn't in alignment with your life that you are intending to co-create. Being reminded that gratitude, not complicity, will keep you awake and aware of all that is available to you in this moment. Coyote Spirit reminds you to laugh about the unexpected twist, to develop humility and gratitude while releasing your attachments to the form of your desires. Even when you suddenly find yourself on a detour wondering when you will get back on track to manifest what you desire, remember that Spirit has a plan and wants the best for you. Trust in divine order now. Coyote spirit is a divine helper. No matter what seems to go astray, things are exactly as they are supposed to be. Wow. So maybe if this lesson came back around again, there's a reason. Why are you attracting the same vibrational energy? Figuring that out. Taking that break. Sitting with it. Figuring it out. So it won't have to happen again. So you won't have to go through that again. Mm, I just got goosebumps on this. Okay. Relationship. If you have been in a bad relationship or coming out of a bad relationship, I see this card almost as a crystal ball and these tree branches as hands. Can you see it? Can you see it? Like they're holding... And I feel like they're watching you. Somebody's watching you. So be careful. Social media, you know, uninvite or block people. Uh, phones block people you don't want. Don't be, you know, social media have somebody have to ask you for permission. Don't let just anybody come in. And just trust that everything that's going on, that's happening, you're learning from. So you can move forward. All right. Virgo, let me know if this resonates with you. You can give me a comment. You can leave me a thumbs up. Um, share this with any Virgos or anybody that you think needs to hear this. I appreciate that. I thank you all for being here. I thank you all for watching. I would love to hear how this is resonating with you. You got your animal allies there too. Hmm. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. And until next time, I will see you guys. If you made it this far, thank you for hanging there with me. I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.